Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd make a quick little video to show you the progress that I've made on what started out a little over a month ago as nothing more than a thought exercise, but has now turned into a 3D printed prosthetic hand. Sure, it's still in the early stages, but it really shows some promise. Let me show you some of his features. It's still pretty early. Right now I'm on my third major design fourth set of minor designs. So here it is. It's a crossed four link design that allows for 250 degrees worth of motion with a little less than a half an inch worth of input distance, which is really good for, for travel on the wrist, really lousy for, for force multiplication. But we can take care of a lot of that throughout the lever and gear works on the forearm assembly. So the whole idea behind this thought experiment was to see how small, light, and low a part count that I could make a prosthetic finger. So I'm down to, I'm down to like eight or nine major components on these fingers. One of the things that I was able to implement on this that I was pretty excited about, that I've been trying to implement on my aluminum hands for, for quite a while, is the slide-on distal tactile pads. So I print these out of 95 ATPU, and they just slide on to the ABS finger in this version. I've been looking to try to do that on the aluminum fingers. I just haven't had the time to program it up, machine it, and change what already kind of works pretty well. But this is pretty encouraging. One of the things that's kind of a step backwards in the design is that Unlike on this hand, when the proximal section of the finger stops, the motion of the rest of the finger also stops. Whereas on this design of the thing of my prosthetic finger, when the proximal stops, the medial and distal are allowed to continue to travel. Design-wise, it's kind of a step backwards, but if it allows me to get this project out to those that are in need of it, I'm willing to make that as a sacrifice. I know that in the past I've spent a lot of time refining and designing the mechanism that allows me to have the six different grip patterns on my prosthetic hands. If I were to offer this as a kit format, having a grip pattern selector and such really isn't going to be feasible component-wise. Even without those two feature sets, I'm sure that this will be a very adequate prosthetic device. One of the things that I was able to do with this device that I haven't been able to do on my previous iterations is to get the scale of the device super close to my natural hand. And that's pretty exciting. And as far as the articulation, I have really good crossing with my thumb in key grip position. I've lined up a company to 3D print these components out of stainless. And I'll let you know how it goes in some upcoming videos. Currently, I've been printing these parts on my new Bamboo Carbon X1. Over the past month, I've gone through several iterations of this finger. That's all I have for this quick little video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and if you have time, let me know what you think about this project in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all my supporters on Patreon. Cat. Yes, I hear you. Now go away. Shush.